latest update on Typhoon Jebby, which has maintained its Category 5 intensity uh, throughout the last few hours. It's now late in the evening, Japan Standard Time, 11 p.m. August 31st. We're still putting the storm at 165 miles an hour with a pressure of 912. Those are our best estimations on Force 13 satellite estimates. It's a Category 5, as stated, a Stage 8 on the CDPS scale. And as you can see, it's now drawing a little bit further away from the Northern Mariana Islands and is slowly drawing a little bit closer to Iroto, 423 miles from there, and 814 from Daitojima, still over a thousand miles from the main islands of Japan. Well, let's take a look at the warnings. No warnings in Japan yet. There's still a typhoon warning for those islands, Agrihan, Pagan and Alamagan, as the last bands move through. They will probably be lifted very soon. Uh, so, for a little while, for this Category 5 storm, there's going to be no warnings in effect very shortly. Um, and we'll continue to be watching it very closely as it moves towards Japan, where we expect to see warnings get hoisted up uh, later on in a few days. This is what we're looking at on the models. Uh, again, it's starting to look ever so clearer now as to where the storm's actually going to go. We're expecting a recurve and then a possible landfall somewhere along the Japanese coastline, somewhere east of Osaka, is now appearing to be the dominant theme according to the models. And that will be early next week, Monday or Tuesday. Uh, I doubt it will be much later than that. Um, and you can see a new front moving through afterwards as well. Sea surface temperatures aren't going to be an issue, 28 or 29 degrees Celsius ahead of the storm. That's not going to be an issue all the way up until its potential landfall. Another look at the wind field. This is what we expect over the next five days. Starting to appear at the bottom of your screen into the weekend. You can see it passing the Ogasawara Islands way off to the west and in between that gap just east of the Daito Islands. They may get tropical storm force winds maybe, uh, as might some of those other Japanese coastlines, but when you get to eastern Shikoku eastwards, that's where we're really concerned, all the way up to Tokyo, possibility for typhoon conditions all along that part of the southern coast of Japan into early next week. So we'll continue to watch that as we continue to narrow down the range of where we're expecting the, the worst conditions to occur. These are the chances of tropical storm force winds, 65% in Osaka, and 70% in Nagoya, that's the highest percentage for any of the major cities in Japan so far. It's still a Category 5 as mentioned, there was speculation it could have got to 180 miles an hour, it hasn't happened yet and it doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon because the storm is waning a little bit. Uh, wind shear is remaining low for a good 2 or 3 days, so further intensification could happen in a short window in the next 12 hours or so whilst it's still got those prime conditions. And as you can see, the models there again uh, falling very close to Nagoya and one or two falling a little bit closer to Osaka. Somewhere in between the two at the moment is what they're saying, but there is still a significant cone of uncertainty. This is how the storm looked last night. We uploaded a satellite animation on the channel and on Facebook recently, and it looked fantastic on there as well. And this is the latest imagery. Its eye temperature is now around 18 degrees. It earlier overnight peaked at 20, or earlier in the day as it is over there, it peaked around 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, so slight weakening, only very slight though, and is still a confident strong category five on the Sapphire Simpson scale. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.